Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the next video, uh, now we are going to talk about NestJS Prisma. So uh, after covering uh, NestJS uh, Typo RM, now we understood most of the concepts. Now we are going to talk about the Prisma. Prisma is really a new TypeScript based ORM and it's really popular and uh, I also like it. Like it provides lots of concepts, lots of uh, things. Uh, features which helps us in day-to-day -day development i mean it has it is providing us the prisma client which we which which we need to access to deal with any database entities okay so first let's take a look into the do documentation you can easily play with the sqlite because sqlite is a file based database and what you need uh, is just to install the the prisma and then you can just do prisma in it because it is going to create a prisma schema file for us so i will just try to follow some of the steps and try to perform it so here is our code i created this new project just a replica of our previous project and here we are going to talk about this uh, prisma playground so what i will do is i will install prisma first so I can just, you can simply say is npx, sorry, uh, pnpm add prisma and this is I'm adding in this playground project and then npx prisma or npx prisma in it. So once this is done, you can initialize the prisma. So initializing prisma means creating a uh, configurations for the prisma. And here I will do npx prisma. So these are the different commands which you will see, right? Because ORM is all about how we deal with the migrations, how we generate the migrations and how we apply the migration. And then how that ORM is helping us to deal or access the entities from that different database like MySQL, Postgres, uh, MongoDB or SQLite. So all these different uh, commands we already know. So I will do npx prisma in it. What it will do is it will try to create a I think prisma folder in the root of the fold project and it will create a schema.prisma file. And schema.prisma is like a bare bone structure where you, you, you can just set a database URL in your ENV somewhere. I think we already have database URL. So we can start playing uh, playing with this. So what we need is, I mean, I have covered a Prisma a lot in my other videos. So I, I won't be talking much in depth. It's all about playground. So this database URL can be your seek MySQL, can be a Postgres, can be a MongoDB. You need to just define the provider based on that. So provider, I'm specifying a PostgreSQL. That means I'm trying to connect to the Postgres database and here you will define all your models, models like user models, uh, course, university or post model, uh, I mean whatever the entities you have in your system. Let's say I'm just adding a blog post system, then it will be user, blogs, uh, comments, all these models you will add here. Currently uh, what I do, what I can do is, we already have this database URL in .env. And I will just start doing this uh, simple commands. Okay, so we already got this Prisma client. We also need to add the Prisma client here. I think it's a dev dependency we need to add, which is, I mean, dev dependency for the Prisma client. And Prisma can be a dev dependency, but Prisma client should be a part of dependencies. Okay. And after that, uh, I just adding that dependency and then Prisma client is added, right? If I try to do pnpm i add root, I think it will initialize the Prisma client. Okay. So now i can just try to run these different commands what i can do is npx prisma migrate dev let's see this because currently i haven't defined any models it's like a bare bone empty uh, schema.prisma file 
we could okay sorry i'm putting this running this in the totally different path it should be inside this playground folder because here we have a schema.prisma file okay i will hit this and it will ask me yes you can clean the database and it has done this right now currently we don't have any models defined what it is saying is you don't have any models defined i can try to i can just copy uh, some sample models from here it is nothing but a two tables user and the posts i'm going to create so inside a prisma schema i'm just creating these two different tables user and the post user has these three uh, four columns id email name posts posts has id title content published author and author id i mean it's all uh, uh, SQL tables we are creating. So I will just to migrate them. It will ask me name of the migrations like a baseline. And you can see the migrations has been generated in a SQL file. And it has created these two tables in the database. So if I go to this database URL which I already have and try to see then I will see only these two tables. And this is a SQL look like we have some constraint between the post and the user and this is a simple table with the primary key ids in both the tables so this is how we have created uh, i mean we have created a prisma migration based on the prisma schema file which is kept here i will also try to do prisma generate So what it does is it will try to create the client in the node modules mm -hmm. and client is already there you can see if i now if i mm -hmm. wanted to access start accessing the the models first of all in the because we are doing a nest js so i just need to write uh, one particular service so prisma client we already have i just need to write this service to make sure that we are connected to the prisma database i mean we do have the database connection this is just an additional service which we need to add anywhere in the source folder to make sure that we are connected this is using one module in it a lifecycle method of uh, nest js service and it will do just this dot dollar connect okay so that will just check okay we are connected and after that you will start accessing the prisma models this dot prisma dot user dot create and here inside a constructor we are ex injecting this prisma service so what I will do is I will copy this Prisma service because we do have lots of code which is accessing the type ORM and all. So I will just do domain inside a shared. I can just create uh, this file Prisma.service.ts and then you just start injecting this service in any of your entity let's say i am trying to access this inside this uh, restaurant service so what i will do is i will inject it same as like this so let's go to the constructor here we will just change lots of code here prisma service we have defined so i will just import it and now because i got the access to the prisma what i can do i can do lots of things so let's try to see what I can do. Await this dot prisma dot. So here you can see I can see these two models available, post and user. How is this possible, right? Because in if you go into because we are accessing the Prisma client from here, I can show you Prisma client, and if you go to the node modules, I think we are using node modules too. So these modules are already populated with the Prisma client. So what it will do is, it will help us to access these models through the Prisma client. Okay. So let's go to our code. So this is not Prisma dot user, right? If you wanted to create, let's say find, then you can access the find many, and you pass your criteria. Right. Same as whatever we are doing in the type ORM. Now we can do that with the Prisma. So what we can do is just to clean up this code and we start writing something like this. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to create a user, await, 
this dot prisma dot user dot create and i think it takes uh, data as argument and inside data you can specify the whole payload like uh, what is the id and also i think email is test this is my prisma schema file if you look into the user i need a name is optional email is required that's it so i just need an email property so it will create a user this is the simple code we need so we are accessing prisma through the prisma client so prisma client is not, nothing but a module which is providing us uh, connections which is providing us all these models right like because these are the database models we need to access to access the database entities right these are like you can say database entities same as type rm but here those we are accessing through the prisma client and then you can do just call create find find all find many all these different operations to access the database and prisma is already up providing us this nice way of uh, dealing with the migrations why i'm saying is let's say i later decided that i wanted to add one more model in the prisma schema file so i have a user posts and then i decided to create a comment there is a comment because there will be some users will be adding the comment also so here i will add a comment string required okay published we are not having this folder author so this is going to have a relationship with the user and here i can add okay comment a user can add a multiple comment to a blog post so i will just add now all the issues resolved i mean you need to have both way of relationship user will have array of comments and comment will have the reference key author id as a column which is which is a foreign key pointing to the id of the user table now i i did some change in the models right so what i need to do i need to uh, generate i need to first of all i can migrate this npx uh, prisma migrate dev so it will create a new migration for me it will look at the schema file did we change anything yes uh, i changed the code so based on that it will ask you to create a new file so uh, you comment model so we can say v2 it will just generate a new migration file and what it contains you see it just contains the changes which you have done i created a comment table and added a foreign key constraint later let's say i decided to add a couple of more attributes in into the comment like let's say comment and then there is a description it's this is optional okay to mark an optional you need to put question mark here i will do dev again i can just say version 3 and this is comment version 3 right it will again just create a new migration file sorry uh here it will create a new migration file comment v3 and you can see it has this change okay i am trying to add a description or column onto the comment table so when you wanted to just uh, do these things here we are just generating the migrations and applying those changes to the database also so here uh, what we are doing is npx migrate dev so migration it is creating the migration file to store the state okay what is the current state because we need to track the migrations also and generate command is only to generate a client which we which i executed earlier this is to generate a prisma client which is always there you can just execute this command once for npm install we always have this post install task which will look okay uh, there is a prisma uh, client so it will install that and the prisma client will have this latest models updated let's say later you are adding a new model uh, which i can say here let's say inside a prisma schema i added one more model 
which is uh, just review i don't have any relationships with anything that this is a new model which has been added in the prisma schema 5 what i will do is i need to uh, either you do migrate dev what it will do is it will just ask me okay this is a review v4 it will just create a table that's fine and i think it's also generating a prisma client that's good thing for me generate a prisma client for the updated model because that new model the reviews is not available on the prisma client so either you can generate or i think the migrate is also executing this prisma client uh, command why i'm saying is because at the end what you need to do you need to access these things through these so whenever you are adding a new model you want to make that model available here you can see reviews is available reviews uh, command post order and when you are adding a new model it is also generating a prisma client and populating this new model new entity in the prisma client obviously because you are accessing the database tables using this dot prisma client dot model name let's say command dot all these methods right so you need to have populate these models on the prisma client which is already happening so that's really nice so this is all about how we are dealing with the just playing around with the prisma and trying to see how to create update delete so these these are the basic operations let's say i wanted to update so inside update what you specify is uh data and then there is a where clause so inside update you can specify two things this is the data you want to specify and this is the where close and where id is one or something right so this is how we will just try to see how we are doing it in a uh, particular examples of the prisma but now the only thing what we are going to change our controllers will stay same our services now we will just using uh, the prisma client instead of uh, data source or connections or prisma type or repositories you will be accessing this data uh, you will be accessing this prisma this dot prisma dot model name dot create dot update dot delete this is at the end you will be doing with the prisma once you understand this migrations and all okay now what we will do is let's uh, use this prisma models to just read and write some operations so that we understand how the prisma really works and then we will just take a look on some high level concepts of the prisma schema so another important part is uh, you can actually play with the different database here instead of like uh, postgresql you can actually use sqlite so sqlite is a file based database right and you can just uh, simply use sqlite uh, and here the let's say if i want to change it sqlite and it will ask me the database url and database url i need to specify in my env right because sqlite is a file based database so i will go to my env i will just change this to something else i will replace this because this is a postgres and if i just do my grid dev what will happen is because i totally change the provider it will ask me do i want to just totally uh dump the database okay data source provider sql at specified does not match one of the specified in the migration log file yes it is just like preventing uh just because you are trying to destroy the whole database so what i will do is for now is this is because it is locking the provider and i'm just playing around it so i will just delete this and allow you to even delete the migrations which i don't want i will just uh, prisma migrate dev and i'm happy to do it with the sqlite so it is done it has created uh because sqlite is also a file based sql database and all the tables has been created so what i did just changed i changed the provider so provider can be uh, Mongo, mongodb a sqlite and uh, postgres sql all these different options are available you just uh, change the provider and play with that
so here i mean if you want to do i think my sequel is that or yes my sequel is there sequel it is there and postgres sequel is there okay so here we are using file based database and this is the database created you can see you can open this uh, file inside any sql editor and you can check all the tables okay so this is all about how we can play with the migrations how we can access the prisma client and based on this data source provider you can play with the different database here you change this to the mysql and you just specify the database url in the dot env which is a mysql database with the i mean my mysql database url and then uh, start accessing the database using the prisma client okay that's all so in the next video we may uh, talk about some advanced concept with the prisma and the nest cs